The new Republican push to reform health care may be on life support after Arizona Senator John McCain came out against it and says he's not the only one with reservations. Meanwhile, Rhode Island Democrats and at least one other Republican are speaking out against the bill. Iowa News News reporter Eric Halperin is in the newsroom now with more. It's new at 530. Eric. Mike, if a vote on the latest health care bill takes place before the end of the month, Republicans will just need 51 votes to pass it. But under Senate rules, if a vote takes place on October 1st or any time after, they'll need at least 60. So the race is on. Once again, Republicans are trying to pass a health care bill to repeal and replace Obamacare. And once again, Democratic senators, including Rhode Island's, are speaking out against it. It is a disaster, and they're just pushing forward anyway. The Republican bill proposed by Senators Graham and Cassidy would devastate Rhode Island. According to a study done by the consulting firm Avalier Health, the proposal by Republicans Lindsey Graham and Bill Cassidy would lower federal funding to Rhode Island by $20 billion over the next 15 years compared with current law. It would just be financially devastating to the state, it would cost jobs, and it would just completely disrupt the health care system across the nation. U.S. Senators Jack Reed and Sheldon Whitehouse held an event this morning with other health care leaders advocating against the latest repeal effort. Over the spring and summer, they organized similar efforts to block previous repeal bills, and they say they didn't think they would be going around doing it again. To me, it's like that movie scene where the dead zombie hand comes thrusting up out of the dirt in the grave one more time. He reached out to several Rhode Island Republicans running for Senate and Governor to see where they stand on the bill. U.S. Senate candidate and State Representative Bobby Nardalillo was the first to respond saying in part, quote, single-payer coverage isn't the answer, but as it stands, the current formula doesn't represent the best needs of my state. I wouldn't be in support of the Graham-Cassidy bill until the formula is adjusted. And earlier today when Senator McCain did say he would come out against it, he said, quote, I cannot in good conscience vote for the Graham-Cassidy proposal. Eyewitness News will continue to cover this as a potential vote gets closer and closer. Live in the newsroom, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.